monkey god flower fruit kingdoms. So this is about the Sun Wukong kingdoms. See, you see there's a lot of monkey. And this is the Sun Wukong. Tripitaka first disciple. So monkey god is the Sungkung. There's the Sungkung. So this is the magic cypress groove. Pixie. Or Chupache is the second disciple. Next is the Tripitaka Medical White Horse. Okay. The third dragon prince of the sea. So this is the horse. The horse is carrying the Tripitaka uh, books and items along the road to the west. Okay, next is this. The third disciple is Sandy. Sandy or Sa Cheng is the sand monk. Okay. That is Sa Cheng, the one below. So this is the story of Monkey King Battle of the Scarlet Child or Nacha. Okay, this is the Monkey King fighting Nacha. So Nacha is uh, one of the a uh, legend in Chinese folklore also. It's the Tipitaka second disciple, the Pixie or Chupache, or Wunang. The soft spot is for the woman. That's why there's always a woman beside Chupache. Okay, so all of this is the journey to the west. Okay. The famous tale of holy monk with the three disciples look for the Buddhist scripture during the Tang Dynasty. So there's a monkey king, the pixie, chupache, uh, sandy, the sandy man, and also the white horse. It's the Tripitaka and Sachang. Since this place is being built like a long time ago, so I think it's uh, quite a good sculpture and very detailed. Okay, now next is this Chang Sia, the legendary Sage. This one is okay. You can see. So he always fishing, but he is not fishing, but wait for the good lure to pass by. So. I can serve him. After that, he served King Wen and used the military strategy to help him overthrow the evil King Chou. One of legacy. Okay. He kept cup. Okay, actually, there's a lot of uh, fish around here. Okay, since the gardens reopened in 1990, the cooling system placed to give cold mist in the tree park or park. But I think now they don't have any uh, miss. But we can see there's some cable below. Maybe it's still in renovation. Yeah, I hope it's going to be installed soon. Because if we visit this park uh, around 1 p.m. or 2 p.m., it's very, very hot. The upside down mermaid. Okay, can you guess what is this? Yeah, so I think this is the legend for the Sun Kok or Sam Kok. In the center is Liu Pei, this is Chang Fei, and this one is the Wan Yi. Drawing from the Malay culture. I know this is from Bali. 
and I'm not sure about this, there's also this kind of culture in Indonesia. Now we are in the Kwanim town, so it's the furthest of Hopa Villa. Okay, later we will try to see the former villa. After that, we will see, we will visit the Hell Museum. Okay, launch today, 29. Okay, let's go. Okay, the Hopa Villa, maybe you can see from outside, it doesn't look uh, very big. But actually, it's very big. If you just uh, explore the uh, free area, it will take maybe around one hour. But if you go for detail, especially if you want to take picture also, it can take maybe around two or three hours. Yeah, it's very difficult, I think, nowadays if you wear mask because you need to hike and walk uh, quite often. Oh yeah, and the Hapa Villa is not, is not on the flat land, so there's uh, something like hill, you need to go upstairs and go down. The original handcrafted terrazzo flooring. Terrazzo is very popular material in Singapore in 1920s. So this is the floor. I think it's all over the Hapa Villa. This is the short story of Hopar House. So actually there's all of this is a very big mansion uh, from the whole family. Grand opening is 1937 okay, by Abun Par. But sadly after the second world war, died soon after. So after the brother's death, the state of the villa is not very good and he demolished it. So this is just Okay, so this is the story about the Battle of the Yellow River. Okay, Chiang Siya, just into the river battle. Yellow River formation to break it. However, they trap in the evil force. In the end, two sages came and turned the tide against the three sisters and ended the war. That is the short story. Sorry, this is in Malay and in Mandarin and in Hindi. Okay, so next is the two sages. Hmm. This is the two sages that help them. Chang Suya and the three sisters. Okay, Chang Tzu want to defeat the evil King Chou. Okay, future and vices. Okay, according to the Chinese, most important set of moral rules to follow. So this following the Confucianism. One of the famous saying is the act of giving is the reward itself. So here is some act of giving. So like giving uh, money to beggar. Okay. But there's also, of course, uh, stealing. So if we steal, then we will uh, receive a bad karma for this. Thriftiness and wealth. So saving, saving up for the rainy day are very important steps of virtue. 
also this gambling gambling is very bad that's why we need to save up our money and avoid uh, gambling okay there's actually a lot of moral story behind this sculpture that's why i think the rich are torturing the weak and that one is uh, helping the elderly Kang Dinasti Buddha is known as Qigong. Qigong is famous because uh, he dressed as dirty looking monk. Looks very, very poor, but he got a uh, magic power. There's several of uh, Qigong movie I saw before. So this is quite famous. They bring the Buddhism to the country and it influenced the official and the people of the country. Yes. This is when Buddhism came to China. The graceful tortoise. Wang Chin is a kind man who love animal. One time, he bought the tur a bird turtle and set it free in the sea. So it's like a function in Chinese culture. So they uh, set free animal that is going to uh, die or sold in the market. After that, years later, his ship suddenly sink and the giant turtle help and rescue him. Okay, so this is the illustration. Ships sinking, shark all sinking, but only one survived by the help of giant turtles. There's another story about the Empress Li that tolerate a lot of injustice. In the end, he died and thrown to dungeon. This is the determination, loyalty, and hard work story. This is also from the Ed Immortal. This is the 18 Lohan. about the friendship and royalty story about a bear and two kids two boys going to picnic one spot the bear and run by himself the and the other boy left behind play dead then the bear chase his friend that is uh, running away and kill him it's never to trust a friend who betray you in a time of trouble Yeah, it's quite big. I'm already like entering two hours in this uh, Hopa Villa. What I like about this Hopa Villa is there's a lot of uh, sitting place. Okay, so don't don't be worried. Almost 6 p.m. So uh, special for today, it will close until 8 p.m. Okay, but remember next time if you visit here, the closing time is 6 p.m. Okay, actually I want to go inside the health museum, but looks like the ticket already sold out. Okay, so they advised me to book the ticket online first, so I book for tomorrow. Okay, so this video is only for the uh, free zone inside the Hopa Villa. So for the paid zone, the paid area, the health museum, I will uh, share in the next video. Okay, but I think it's already 
a quite a long video for today I've been walking for around two hours yeah, quite tiring hmm. okay now I'm going back and we'll take my dinner in the FIFO city okay now going out visiting time should be around two until three hours if you are going inside the health museum you can add uh, one or two hours yeah, so it's going to take half a day if you want to visit Hopa Villa okay I think that's all thank you for watching please like and subscribe to support the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I posted a new video okay see you in the next video bye and this is the volcanic pit